Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us for this session. It's a pleasure to welcome you today. My name is Naoya Tamira from Panasonic. I'm in charge of developing reference hardware. Today, I'd like to talk about getting close to real automotive products with AGO reference hardware. This presentation will take about 40 minutes. If you have any question, feel free to ask by chat system during this presentation. Professional staff will answer your question. Here's the agenda. Firstly, I'll introduce AGO and expert group's history and overview of reference hardware. Secondly, I'll explain the building image process for reference hardware by using the latest UCD. Thirdly, I shall poke demo and device virtualization as case study. Then, I'll introduce AGO developer tools. Finally, I'll make a conclusion. This content is suitable for anyone who is interested in AGL and no previous experience is required. So firstly, I'd like to give you some background and overview about AGL reference hardware. AGL is a collaborative open source project for the purpose of building Linux based open source software platforms for automotive applications that can serve as de facto industry standards. AGL supports all kinds of InVico software, such as InVico infotainment, clusters, and head-up displays. Adapting a shared platform across the industry reduces fragmentation and allows automakers, suppliers, and technology companies to reuse the same code based on Linux, which leads to rapid innovation and faster time to market for new products. AGL allows you to build images for a variety of supported hardware targets, including reference hardware. In addition to the core members, there are nine expert groups within the AGL. Each expert group has a technical director or other representative. Each group meets regularly to document technical requirements and system architecture, resolve design issues, and develop and promote architecture. For more detail about each expert group, please check the links at the bottom. The reference hardware system architecture expert group is one of the expert group and responsible for defining requirements and architecture of reference hardware. Reference Hardware System Architecture Expert Group was founded in 2017 for the purpose of building a hardware platform, which is used for typing according to various requirements in automotive industry. At first step one, General Purpose Development Board was used in AGL committee in order to develop UCD and AGL demo. Next is step two, more user including tier one and tier two institute, OEM increased, more use case increased. This use case includes OEMs installing the system in their vehicle for more realistic demonstrations, conducting poke of the product according to each required specification and evaluating the system feasibility. So, the expert group started discussing the concept of reference hardware, which features interchangeable architecture with general interface and standard 
to the inside for Binku mountable. AGO reference hardware is an ecosystem designed to provide a basic target to in vehicle infotainment system development. The SOC used on this hardware sample is Alka H3 Lunesas Electronics Corporation. This is promoted by Reference Hardware System Architecture Expert Group in AGL and Support AGL Project. Each function board is divided and interchangeable for your own system. Therefore, anyone can quickly develop software by instantly connecting the necessary devices as shown in the fi figure on the right. User can use AGL to quickly build prototypes and explorer features. There are specifications of AGL reference hardware. Reference hardware is divided into three major boards as this block diagram. At first, control board. Because the sock is on this board, so this block is created of all functional blocks. The design of high-speed interface is done with this board to increase the reliability of the hardware. Secondary, audio board, which can adapt to variety of audio and radio requirements. Audio and vehicle have common interface, so it is possible to connect the control board and both boards, or just the audio board. Thirdly, vehicle board, which can adapt to power control requirement variety. The other small board, a function board, which has various interface. Each board is interchangeable according to the requirement for demo or prototype. Here is a specification of full custom. Reference hardware has Vinesas Archive 3 and 64 gigabyte ROM storage, 8 gigabyte RAM, and some external interfaces. This hardware can also support in vehicle if interfaces mm -hmm. such as CAN and RIN. This figure shows three mechanical features. First of all, each board has a mechanical strength in the case of mounting on a real car, the bounding strength between the substrate is required. But the connector alone is not sufficient. This hardware has screw hole, so it is possible to enhance enough strength. Secondly, cable can be connected in one direction so that this hardware can be mounted on a real car easily. Sadly, the reference hardware can be matched to the OEM connector for each function board within 2D size. For more information on the AGL reference hardware, Please refer to the Expert Group Wiki page. Several documents are uploaded there. The reference hardware manual contains the hardware specifications and the design guideline contains design information for each board. So you can design your own board. In this way, the groundwork has been Rate for the development 
of the AGL Committee as a whole. The reference hardware manual contains information on the external interface and its pin assignments for each connector, mode switch settings, and peripheral components. Please refer to this document when you would like to confirm the specifications of reference hardware. Design guidelines for each board have also been uploaded. For example, this is part of the control board design guideline. The design guideline contains information necessary for design, such as the common interface of reference hardware, board mechanical diagram, power supply, and block diagram. By reading this document, users can design their own board with the required interface or use it to develop components such as a peripheral IC. This is an overview summary of reference hardware. By accelerating the ecosystem cycle with the introduction of reference hardware, the industry will be able to streamline the development of automotive products. With introduction of reference hardware as a start point, expected that the use cases of AGL will expand. This will lead to more source code contribution, and there will be more users of AGL. AGL has community developing tool, documentation, and other information available. We are looking forward to your joining and expand group will continue to accomplish this ecosystem cycle. Let's go on to the next topic. I'll explain how to build an AGO image for reference hardware. This figure shows the AGL software architecture. The AGL unified code base called AGL UCB consists of five layers. The application and HMI layer contains applications with their relevant business logic and HMI. Applications may use a web-based framework or native framework. Coordination of applications between framework is performed by the AGL app framework. Reference applications may be provided by AGL to demonstrate the capabilities of the platform. Next, the application framework layer provides the methods needed to create software applications and their user interfaces. The platform can support multiple application frameworks, any of which may be built into an SDK or product build. The application framework contains any code specifically written for that framework as well as the binding to the services and operating system layers that the application framework provides for its applications. The services layer contains user space services that all applications can access. Generally, the services provide either an IPC type interface or sub outline functional API.
Operating system layer includes a Linux kernel, bootloader, and device drivers. Finally, in the hardware layer, there are several hardware types supported by AGL, including AGL reference hardware. The Yoct project makes it's easy to customize the build to the AGL image for the target machine, including the reference hardware. This architecture further helps reduce development, fragmentation, and accelerate process innovation. Yoct project is an open source collaboration project that helps developers create custom Linux based systems regardless of the hardware architecture. The project provides a flexible set of tools and a space where embedded developers worldwide can share technologies. Software stacks, configurations, and best practice which can be used to create tailored Linux images for embedded devices. AGL is a Linux distribution based on a Yacht project. Pokey is a reference distribution of the Yacht project. It contains an open embedded build system as well as a set of metadata to get you started Building your own distribution. Bitbake is the most significant open embedded build system component. You can git from the Pokey repository and bootstrap your own distribution. In this way, the system allows users to build distributions flexibly without debating on hardware. Here is a schedule and milestones for AGL. The AGL Unified Code Base is updated approximately every six months. The updated UCD is immediately evaluated by the AGL committee and feedback, suggestions, and back fixes are submitted to a review system called GetIt. The submissions are immediately evaluated by reviewers, and if there are no problems, these are merged into the next release. You can check the release status of the unified code base on the wiki page. This is a link. Currently, Lucky Lamprey is our latest version a stable release and is under development. Starting from Lucky Lamprey 12.0.2, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are supported. Lucky Lamprey 12.1.0, which was released on December 4, supports the latest BSP version 5.5.0, so we recommend this version. This is the AGL image development workflow. Consists of setting up the build host that builds the image with using the Yoked project to create an image targeted towards specific hardware. First of all, you need to prepare a build host that meets the required specifications. Secondly, Downloads are AGL software. Then, 
initialize the build and customize for target machine like to reference hardware. Finally, build your image by Bitbake as a build engine of your project component. I'll show these reference hardware build steps from the next page. To begin with, you need to download the repo launcher from Google Cloud Storage and ensure that it's executable. Then, download the AGL source files depending on your development goals. As for the stable release, Rocky Runplay is the latest version and is recommended. So in this example, I use Rocky Runplay branch, which is stable release version. If you would like to try out the latest features, please download the master branch instead of Rocky Runplay. To check the release note, please refer to the wiki page. Once you sync the repository, you get the Azure files in the form of layers. Since the AGL reference hardware is based on the same Renesas Alcar A3 processor used in the Renesas Alcar starter kit and Salvatore export, it is supported by utilization the starter kit called the H3 ULCB build. Before setting up the build environment, you need to download the driver from the Alcar H3 software website. Run the shell script setup mm packages are shown below to see the list of zip file containing the required driver. When using the latest master branch or Lucky Rampray 12.1 or later branch, you need to download the BSP that supports Yacht project version 5.5.0. Then download the appropriate BSP version and make sure you have the correct access rights. Prior to initialize the build environment, define the machine variable for the reference hardware as H3ULCB. Then install the build environment by running the AGL setup shell script with the machine name and feature settings as arguments. By including AGL reference hardware H3 in the feature settings, reference hardware's recipes are included in build target on local com file. Once you initialize, some configuration files is created in build directory. Because the build process is based on big bake and Yacht project, build customization are driven through configuration files used during the build. Lots of configuration files exist that define a build. However, the primary one that acts as a global configuration mechanism is a local com file. In addition, the BB layers com file define layers which are directory trees traversed by Bitbake. The BB layers com file uses the BB layers variable 
to list the layers Bitbay tries to find. After customizing the build, use Bitbay to build the AGL image. In this example, we are building an AGL demo platform image that includes a demo and other features. The first build will take roughly a few hours, depending on your CPU and network environment. When the build completes successfully, the image will be stored in the build directory. Wrapping the image on microSD card, prepare the microSD card with over 16 GB of free space and plug your build host. For example, you can use the list block devices command to display the recognized block device tree. Once you identify the microSD card, you can use bitmap tool to copy the image to the microSD card. Alternatively, you can leave the image in an uncompressed state and write it to the microSD card. This page provides additional information on DDR memory. As shown in this figure, for Lego's Ravel with number 100 or later, and the content be below. 16 gigabit Warrank DDR is implemented. Legos with Ravels below number 1919 have the same total capacity of 8 gigabit byte, but the width and rank are different. Please change the suffix when flashing the firmware as posted on Garrett. For Legos after number 100, how to flash the firmware is explained in, this, in the next page. For the firmware writing procedure, refer to the markdown file stored in the directory shown here. You can also check it from the web page. There is one supplement about the firmware to be written. Please use this firmware for business hardware that implements 16 gigabit or rank DDR of number 100 or later. Please note that it is necessary to write the firmware with one rank written in some suffixes as shown in red. For less than number 100, the configuration is the same as the conventional firmware. Once you have the AGL image, you need to prepare the peripherals to run the reference hardware. The main peripherals are included in the package and are described in the hardware manual. In addition, you will need a standard micro USB cable for debugging. Upper harness and AC adapter and uh, your USB cable for debugging are sufficient for the minimum demo operation check. The micro USB cable should be connected to the host PC as shown in this figure. On the reference hardware side, console is printed on the board near the connector. The ball rate is set to uh, this value. In 
insert the boot micro SD card into SD card zero connector as shown in this figure. Do not accidentally insert it into SD card one connector. Next, turn on the power. The fan will start spinning and U-boot will start booting. The real machine has its internal building set to Salvator X, so the configuration defined for Salvator X can be reused. On the other hand, the DTB file used for the reference hardware is R8A77951 AGL reference hardware DTB file. Please note that this file has been upgraded to BSP version 5.5.0 in Lucky Lamprey 12.1 or later, and the name will change. Versions prior to BSP version 4.5 do not need this fix. Therefore, the U-boot configuration will look like this. When you power on the system, it will start booting and the kernel will boot. When prompted for a password, enter root to login. After successfully booting, you will see the AGL demo home screen as shown in this figure. From this GUI, you can launch applications such as the browser, dashboard, and media player. Each feature is still being updated by community members. The AGL demo image requires a full HD monitor. Using a monitor with a different resolution may disrupt the layout of the GUI and requires a separate adjustment. Next, I introduce example of POC demo and virtualization applications using AGA device hardware. Now, let's take a look at a video of a pre-development POC using the AGA reference hardware. This is a demonstration of driving a Mazda 3 sedan equipped with the AGA reference hardware and using the AGA software while driving. In this way, the reference hardware is close to the real automotive product, allowing for a quick poke. The time to prepare the hardware is reduced, and the user experience of your own software can be checked immediately.
The AGA reference hardware is not only designed for non-virtual use case. It is also applicable to virtual use case, which has been a trend with increasing need of ECU consolidation. Based on AGL Defense hardware, BAT IO enabled, virtualized AGL POC from BAT EG member Open Synergy, which highlight two significant features of the combo of AGL reference hardware and BAT IO. One is EG updatability, which means upgrading OS version of virtual machines can be easier and faster. The other benefit is easy switchability. With a combo of AGA reference hardware and BAT IO, OEM and Tier 1 can easily change SOC, device and hypervisors, which will highlight enhance the portability of software assets. For details, please visit Open Synergy Technical Session in this LS with the title of BAT IO, a common device framework to achieve software defined vehicle. Next, I'll introduce the various development tools operated by AGL. AGL used Jira for defect and object management. Defects are submitted to automotive grade Linux using the bug issue type. Once the defect has been submitted, it will be assigned to the appropriate developers for review and possible fixing. When you face a problem, please refer to Zira and check if there is a related bug issue. You can also register a new bug issue. AGL community members collaborate through the Gerrit review system. This system also keeps track of other progress such as source code reviews, build availability, and testing status. Registered users of Garrett can fetch the repository and participate in the review system. In general, changes proposed by members are pushed to Garrett and evaluated by reviewers. If there are no problems, they are merged into the AGM repository. For more detail about the policy and how to prepare to push your change, please refer to the link. These are AGL communication channels. Generally, the AGL main group will be used only for announcements of interest to the entire AGL community. If you are interested in technical discussions, including reference hardware, have a question, or just would like to meet some AGL developers, please join the subgroup AGL device committee. If you work for a company that is an AGL member, please join the member group. Conference is a workspace for AGL teams. If you would like to check the latest activities or contact the person in charge, 
Please visit here. You need a Linux Foundation account. Our conclusions are the following points. The manual and design guidelines for the AGL reference hardware are available on the AGL web page and can be referred to by anyone. The InBiQ communication interfaces are supported and the interchangeable features allow you to quickly build a prototype that is close to the real automotive product, which can be used for POC demonstrations. Even if the required interface is not available, users can design their own board by referring to the design guideline uploaded. It can also be used as a guideline to develop peripheral ICs according to the reference hardware interface. The Yoct project provides tools for building distributions efficiently, such as a build engine, so users can build their images efficiently. AGL will support the exploration of AGL through open source and communication channel. If you have any question about the AGL reference hardware or are interested in purchasing it, please contact us. You can also contact us on conference, but since you need an AGL account, you can also send us an email. Additional production of the reference hardware has already been completed and has been shipping to customers who ordered it in the last month. Thank you for listening. We'd like to develop the ecosystem further and we are looking forward to your participation. Finally, I'm happy to answer your question now.